happening fight fans my name's will butler and if you're new to my channel oh sorry gotta get comfortable if you're new to my channel i talk about mma and fitness and you're probably thinking well the title of this video is about ed hall and for doing the boxing and that's not mma and that's one thing i wanted to start off with why the hell is this not an mma fight this would be such an epic brilliant mma fight so that's first thing i'm gonna say let's let us know in the comments below whether you think it should be an mma fight or if you think as it is it should be a boxing match but anyway without that it's got to be an epic fight um i think the reason why i wanted it to be more of an mma fight is because like i'm an mma fan no um just oh, it's like the matchup the, the strength do you know what i mean they're they're two they're the world's strongest men so surely it should be a match of strength as well as striking like i'd love to see on wrestle who would get that upper hand like the shorter guy ed hall or for being the taller guy they're both probably just as strong as each other but who would get the upper hand with the wrestling that's what i'd have been really interested to see but like i said don't really matter because i'm still just as interested to watch them bang it out doing the boxing fight i mean another reason with mma as well people do say it's the closest thing you're going to get to like a real fight now don't get me wrong boxing is two people punch each other in their head it's a fight and it is going to be a fight so like i said it is just as good but let us know in the comment section if you would preferred mma or boxing right the other thing i just wanted to talk about a little bit is mainly like the strategies and who i think is going to win this fight now just to let you know now i will make another video closer to the time because obviously my opinions might change I don't know too much about uh, the um, four bloke. I can't say his name, but he's going to call him the four bloke. Four. I don't know as much about him. Uh, Ed Hall, however, I follow his YouTube channel. And um, yeah, I'm, I know a little bit more about him. So I, it's hard for me to give an unbiased opinion. So you probably guess who, I've, who, who I'm rooting for. But anyway... Let's say a, let's talk about a bit about the facts about both fighters. Ed Hall is f six foot three, and four is six foot nine, I believe. I did quickly Google a lot of these statistics. They might be wrong. If they like, are, just let us know again in the comment section if they're right or wrong. But so four's got the the height advantage. That's if you like to call it a high advantage, that's one thing. Um, also, uh, I can't, I can't remember the weights bang on, and I know their weights are going to change because I know Ed Hall had to put on a lot of weight for the World Strongest Man competition, and the weights I found, I didn't know if that was um, now or if that was when he was competing. I know he's lost a lot of weight. But I do believe four is going to be the heavier out of the two. So that could play into a factor as well. So, so far, it's not looking that great for Ed Hall because he's fighting a taller and a heavier opponent. Whether four will try to lose cut down weight, whether Ed will try and put on weight, I don't know what the strategies are, but what i would suggest is for ed hall to try and cut some weight and use more of a fitness advantage i'm not saying he is fitter i don't know who is fitter but they're both just as strong as each other now boxing is like excuse me don't get wrong boxers do lift weights a little bit but you don't need to be massively physically strong i mean both fighters are going to be strong enough, obviously, to knock each other out. But, as you all know, it, knockout punches is to do with technique as well. It's whether they've got the technique to knock each other out. They've definitely got the, the strength and the weight advantage to knock each other out, without a doubt. But whether they're going to have the technique. I mean, 
So what I mean by that, like as a comparison, who would you say has got the stronger punch out of them two? Or would you say someone like Mike Tyson or even Muhammad Ali like in his prime? I know he weren't known for a massive puncher. He was known for more wearing the opponents out. But I would still say that them two would have more of a stronger punch just because of down to pure technique. So as for a training strategy for both of them, Let's just say the fight's in three months' time. That's another reason why their weights could change because we don't know the dates of the fight yet. Or I don't think I know the dates of the fight yet. Again, if you know the dates of the fight, put it in the comment section. So, anyway. Yeah, so we don't know. Not sure the dates of the fights. But, um... Normally, I've, like, I fight I train for three months before they fight. What strategy would I give them? I would do nothing but sparring and hitting a punch bag. Pad work. That is it. That is the only three things I I would be doing with them. They don't need to do no strength and conditioning. They don't need to do anything like that. They just need to work on their endurance. But I wouldn't necessarily say go out doing sort of long running or road running or anything like that. Because two men that big, like that could potentially cause them problem. Like they could get knee problems from that. Because like I said, the two really big heavy guys and that much like road running i don't think it'd be too sensible so i'd get them hitting the punch bags and yeah hitting the punch bags very light sparring very very light just get their timing up no point trying to test if they've got a chin or doing anything stupid like that getting them used to taking a punch i'm pretty sure neither of them are going to be scared to go in there and take a punch i mean they're both like animals in their own rights. Do you know what I mean? They're both. Oh, look, I see something in the background. Yeah, they're both. <laughs> that was weird. I put it over there. You don't put it. Yeah, they're both. Like I said, they're both animals in their own right. They're both absolutely beasts. So, yeah. It, tell you what would have been really interesting. Like, if, if they would have decided to do this when they was a little bit younger. That's another thing, by the way. They're both... Uh, Ed Hall's 32, I believe, or 31. So they're both... I mean, they're quite young for World's Longest Men as well, right? But fighting as well, they're both in their their prime, like right? Their peak. But I'd love to have seen... Um, especially Ed Hall. Like I said, I've followed him a bit. I know he's, he started off... He was an extremely good swimmer when he was, like, very, very, very younger... So he was always athletically gifted and I think that's what's going to propel him to win in this fight. I think Thor has got more natural gifts like his size and his weight. Now I'm not saying Eddie Hall's a small bloke at all. He's a big bloke, well, a lot bigger than me. He's a big, big bloke. But I just think he's had to work harder to get where he is. And I could be wrong. Again, not taking nothing away from Thor. So please don't give me any abuse in the comment section. I just think that Ed Hall's had to work that little bit harder. And I think that that might be able to show when it comes to them training. And when it comes to, like, Ed, Ed Hall said he's going to drag him into deep waters. And then maybe that will show. I mean, it will show who wants it more. But... Yeah, I'm just I'm absolutely buzzing. I love I love fights like this. I love it when uh like Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather, like the sort of exhibition fight things they say. I love fights like this. I'm definitely gonna be tuning in. I'm just really, really gutted it wasn't an MMA fight. I mean, uh oh, I, I dunno, I just I know I'm an MMA fan, so I'm gonna say that, but I just think like if you're you both got the title for the world's strongest man, baddest man on the planet. Surely now it's got to be an MMA fighter. Like I've said before, it's the closest thing to a street fight. So, there you go. But, yeah, so anyway, my prediction, I think Ed Hall, my man. And I'm English as well, and Ed Hall's English, so I could be being a bit biased. But like I said, I will follow I will follow him a little bit more. I want to know more about that four bloke and I'll do a video. I'll try and do it a couple of days before the fight and I'll say my final piece, who I think is going to win the fight. And uh, yeah, just can't wait for this fight to happen. 
See you all soon.